I'm Riley Opelka and I'm a part of Team Fila. My relationship with Fila began actually when I was a little kid. Uh, being such an iconic tennis brand and starting tennis off at such a young age, you know, I had plenty of Fila um, collared shirts as a kid. Obviously, I, my dad would always watch Borg matches. So my first experience with, with Fila was, uh, was watching vintage matches. What I like most about representing Fila is I, I, they've been a brand that's kind of stayed true to themselves. And those are the brands that always withstand time the best. They've never kind of deviated from, from what they've known. You look at some shirts I've worn now and you look at pictures of, of, of Bjorn playing at Wimbledon in the 70s and, and you can find a lot of similarities. I think that's pretty special. One of my most memorable moments working with Fila, oh, there's so many. I mean, obviously I've just had such great memories on the court. I think one of the main ones was, was just my trucker hat. I think it sounds funny. It's, it's, a, it's not on, it's a little, you wouldn't expect it kind of with, with Fila and it's a different look and just sampling all the different models and different ones and getting the right one um, was, was quite a fun process. It sounds ridiculous, but uh, I had a blast doing it. I think it was cool. What makes Fila different from other brands, like I said earlier, is just staying true to its brand. Um, you know, you see a lot of brands, a lot of them will have the same colorways at the same times. It's quite different. Fila always kind of beat to their own drum and done their own thing. And, and like I said, I, I've, I've worn warm-ups. I was wearing a warm-up yesterday and we were in the Fila Museum at the suite here and, and it was quite similar to the one of the picture of Bjorn Borg from, you know, late 70s Wimbledon. Tiebreak collection is very cool because it's different. It's uh, it's very, it's more loud and and you know kind of in your face. The the zebra print's well done because it's not too out there. But for any time Fila deviates from you know their original classics, I think it makes a lot of noise. Um, I'm always a fan. Of, yeah, I guess the I like that that zebra crew neck. Um, that's a go-to. I, I love crew necks in general. Um, but yeah, that that one's was my favorite. My Fila style is. Um, where, yeah, I love, like I said, I like crewnecks and I love the zip, uh, the zip warm up. I think that's like an iconic feel. That's what they're known for is that tracksuit. That's a, one of the only pieces that I wear off the court, let's say. You know, I'm a, I love fashion and that's like if I'm going for a, a weekend to, to Milan, for example, when I was there for Fashion Week, the only like tennis piece that, that ends up in my suitcase or the one that always does is that you know, zip up kind of tracksuit warm up piece. It's just iconic. It goes with, with everything. You can wear it on the court or, you know, I could wear it in Milan. I'm always going to go, if I have to pick between the two, I, I like heritage. Uh, it's, um, it's, that's kind of what separates Fila from the rest. They, they still stayed true to their brand and, and those pieces are still highly popular. <laughs> I think everyone that thinks Fila will have the same answer to that. Obviously, uh, it's going for Bjorn. You know, one thing I love about sport is it's honest, um, and it's brought a it's brought a lot of culture into my life, a lot of travel. Uh, I say when I say it's honest, I, it's there's no politics behind it. The you know the best player wins, and that allowed me to go places I couldn't imagine um, going without without tennis. I don't know if I would have ever been in in Rome, and Paris, and London, and and Tokyo, for example. Uh, what excites me the most about um, the future of, of Fila Tennis and being a part of Team Fila is I guess there's, uh, I feel like there's, there's unknowns meaning with what we can do. I think um, Fila is so iconic and so, but at the same time so open to, um, to so many other things. For example, the, the trucker hat is something that was um, I think out of left field and I think that was cool that how it, it brought into my, my Fila style and it adapted quite well and, and more projects like that in the future I think are, are in store and that's what I'm excited for. Thanks for watching, I'm Riley and I'm part of Team Fila.